I don't know, is this take three? I don't know. I just did a whole bunch of talking and the camera wasn't on. today. I hope you all had a happy holiday. Did you know that there's a number of different ways that you can support my channel here on YouTube and the free content? Um, you of course can just make a donation to my tip jar. You can go over to Patreon and get free content from me. You also can go just shop in my Etsy store. I am a rubber stamp and stencil designer among other things. There is a 20% off coupon code in the video description. It's good for everything in the store. Put it in at checkout and you should get your discount. If there's anything wrong with it, um, message me and let me know. I do have to date 20 different sets of rubber stamps. They are sold as sets. They're not sold individually. Uh, the new ones are a little more expensive than the old ones because they're a little bigger. They were a little bit more fiddly to, to create. Um, that being said, I'm going to show you all of them. So this is one of my original ones, set number one, number two, three, four, five. I had to just reorder this one recently. Six. I love these arrows. Seven. Eight. Nine, 10, 11. They do come mounted on these white cards, just how you see them. And then I have them stored. These are Tim Holtz stamp storage pockets. And this is an Avery, um, I think two inch or three inch, I think it's a two inch binder. I will link both the pockets and the binder in the description below, along with the link, of course, to the Etsy shop and the discount code. Um, and this is how I store my rubber stamps. It's not how I store all the rubber stamps, just the ones from my design line, because I'm usually standing here in front of the camera wanting to do a flip or something. Oops. And if you hear little feet in the background, it's because I'm babysitting or puppy sitting my dog, my daughter's dog, Lily, who's having trouble sitting still because, you know, she's a puppy and all. Um, okay, so this is set number 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now, for the new year, I was, last year, as you can see, I was definitely inspired by, um, sketching and da actually daily doodles. Some of these were inspired directly by some of my daily doodles. Um, this year I was definitely inspired by um, the Atomic Age and um, got very inspired by a number of different um, places, people, things, uh, and um, I created an interesting group of stamps, I think, that are intended to be layered. They're intended for um, use on the jelly plate and art journaling. Of course, they could be used for um, card making and tag making, but they're used, they're intended to be layered stamps. So are you ready? Okay, this is set number one. So you would stamp this one first, the solid, in say a lighter color, and then you'd go back over the top of it in a darker in this one. They don't need to line up perfectly to be cute and interesting. This is that one exactly. This one is super cool. It's one of my favorites, I think. Um, the easiest way to do this is with a Tim Holtz. Um, well, I have the Tim Holtz stamp, well, I don't know, what, what is this called? Tonic Studio stamp thing. Stamp, I don't know what it's called. Rubber, I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but you know, this thing, Misty makes one too. There are a lot of people make one, but get, get one of those things. You don't have to have it, but it's easier to do. This is number one. I was using them, so they're all messy. This is number two. 
you know, I saw a pattern that this inspired this doodle um, actually when I was in the airport in Las Vegas a couple years ago. This is number three. This is number four. And this is number five. So they're intended, the solid ones are intended to be the base or the under, under layer. So like on this one, you could stamp this large rectangle, then you could stamp this image on top of it, and then you could even go over the top of that with one of these doodly designs. They make some really cute images that are perfect for card making, journaling, backgrounds, you name it. I think they're wonderful. So go check them out in my Etsy shop. See what you think. There are stencils coming. FYI, there are, is also already a digital background of some of the patterns along with stickers and something else I'm forgetting at the moment because, you know, why would I remember? <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, go check it out and see what you think. And as soon as the stencils are available, I will let you all know. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Oh, don't forget to go out. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Click that little bell icon when you want to see new content from me, when you want to be notified uh, right away. And don't forget to have a good day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.